let's uh, slowly get started. Very warm welcome to our event, to our project talks um, on career advice in project management. My name is Martina Huyeman. I'm a professor at VU Vienna. I'm there situated in the Department Strategy and Innovation. And I'm the academic director of the professional MBA project management. Thank you for joining us uh, today. Uh, obviously, uh, you are interested on the topic project management and uh, for answering your questions and getting some uh, career uh, advice. Uh, we have uh, invited three alumni and uh, I will introduce them uh, very briefly. So Svetlana Grenmeier, she is a portfolio manager at Wiener Linie. We have also invited Faith Herbold. She is technical assistant and labor manager in the St. Anna Children Cancer Research Institute. And uh, we have invited Daniel Winze. He is project manager of timber construction at UPM Development. So you can immediately see that project management is a very diverse uh, career uh, with people from very many uh, different backgrounds. Uh, we have also Antonella Larico with us. Uh, she is uh, the program manager of the professional MBA project management. And of course, we are interested uh, in also getting to know who is in the audience. And so Antonella will share with us uh, two Mentimeter questions. Exactly. So we would like to know what's your um, industry background. And in order to be able to do so, you have to go on menti.com and put this code in so that you can tell us a little bit about yourself. So the first industries are popping up. And let's see how diverse our audience uh, is today. Yeah, project management, uh, you can find uh, in any type of industry, um, either uh, as kind of a means, uh, a help to fulfill customer assignments yeah, for external customers, or also, and this is uh, actually where it comes more and more, uh, the strength of project management is to help organizations to reinvent themselves and uh, kind of get a competitive advantage and translate strategy uh, into action more or less. Yeah, so we have these internal projects that you could find in really in any type of industry. And of course, we do have uh, customer projects um, that are related to customer assignments to bespoke products you need to uh, produce for one of your customers. Yeah, another type of internal uh, uh, project would also be product development. We see it here. So somebody is also sharing uh, the, the type uh, of projects uh, he or she is in. And automotive is also very often related to product development, but also can be very much related to organizational development. Okay, uh, let us move uh, to the next question, please, Antonella. Yes. And we would also like to know. So. Whether you are already working in project management, you know, project management 
does not necessarily mean that you have uh, the term project manager on your business card. You might be in the project management office or you might be in portfolio management or um, whatever. You might also be um, involved in project as project owner. Uh, you might uh, establish uh, a new company being quite entrepreneurial on your own. This is also quite often when you take over project management uh, functions. Okay, so we have uh, a couple of people who say they are already in project management, others they would like to become uh, project managers or move into project management, and others they say they're just working in a different field. Okay, thank you for this uh, little exercise. Uh, it gives us an, an overview who is here in the room. Um, and so let us jump uh, into our conversation uh, with our guests. And this conversation is uh, meant as a very interactive uh, way of uh, just as an interview style. And um, so Svetlana, may I start with you? Um, what is actually, uh, what is your business card saying? Hi guys, it's very nice to see you. Thank you for joining our event. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's online, but it gives the opportunity for the connection from all over the world. <laughs> yeah. Um, actually, my name is Svetlana Krenmai and I'm originally Ukrainian and have been living in Vienna almost for 10 years already. Uh, for a little over a year, I have been working as a portfolio manager at Wiener Linien. This is the main transport infrastructure company in Vienna. Uh, my main responsibilities is development of the project management office and uh, conceptual design of portfolio management. I'm also guiding the establishment of risk management and dig digitalization projects. Uh, actually, uh, uh, risk management was also the topic of my master thesis. Um, and uh, digitalization projects, they are for a project reporting and project portfolio platform. Mm -hmm. So Svetlana, thank you for sharing your background. Uh, and what does your business card say? Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I'm portfolio manager. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, so your business card says portfolio manager. Thank yeah. You. Um, Daniel, what is your background? Um, hello, also from my side. Um, my background is actually a classical um, project management background coming from the construction industry. So um, I studied construction engineering and then started working myself up the ladder starting as a project technician and then becoming a project manager for our contractor side. Um, and at the moment, I'm actually a project manager for timber construction with a combination of um, also a line function. Um, so that's quite interesting because just recently, I've, I've, I'm still doing the project management side on one part, um, but also um, managing different parts of, of the line organization um, as well. Um, so yeah, in short, that would be my background with that. Mm -hmm. And your business card, what does it say? Um, my business card says project manager, uh, timber construction, because mm -hmm. I think they didn't want to integrate the line function um, because the focus obviously is on projects um, in the construction industry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you for sharing and thank you for being with us. Faith, uh, you have a very different background than the others. So what is your background? Hi. So I'm a molecular biologist. I've been doing science for almost 20 years. And so um, I came to Vienna about seven years ago and I've been working within my field. And on my, I don't really have a business card, <laughs> but I, if I were to make up a slogan, it would be scientists itching to get out of academia, science and pol or business and political enthusiasts. So those are sort of my mm -hmm. profile. Yeah, and what are your projects uh, you are involved in? So I'm currently working on some uh, scientific projects, pretty much they're three to five year projects um, that are funded by grants. 
and some of them are 10 year large consortium long term projects. So yes, basically scientific research, um, looking at children, uh, childhood cancer and ways to develop uh, treatments. Mm -hmm. And what made you interested in project management base? I wanted to get a more formalized background. Um, I've always wanted to get outside of the lab since I first came to Vienna. And this was an opportunity for me to sort of demonstrate to myself and to sort of let my network know that I was ready for um, a really large career change. So that's all. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And Svetlana, what, uh, I mean, you are working on the portfolio uh, level. Yeah? yeah. What project types uh, are you related to? What are the projects uh, you are engaged with? Um, so, like my main responsibilities is the further development of a portfolio management platform. So it includes also different digitalization projects. And um, at the moment we have a very big uh, digitalization project for project reporting. So we try to digitalize so much as possible. Yes, you know. Uh, it will save you a lot of resources, um, budget, and yeah, make the processes more efficient and effective. Mm -hmm. And before you have uh, uh, started to work at Wiener Linien in the PMO as portfolio manager, what, what roles uh, have you had? What did you do before? Um, after finishing uh, my first master's, uh, in civil engineering and architecture. Uh, I, I moved to Vienna and my professional career has been started. Uh, at first I worked for four years as a facade designer, developing construction detail planning for large international projects. So here, like my career has started with the project management like from the beginning, yeah. And after uh, a while working there, I felt that I need also some uh, practical experience. That's why I was looking for a new opportunities. Therefore, I moved to construction site management and work in this field for four years as well for two largest Austrian companies such as Por and Strabag. And yeah, this is the background, what I have been doing before portfolio management before my <laughs> MBA. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, Svetlana. Yeah, Daniel, uh, you are also in the construction industry and you already said this is quite classic. Uh, um, so what did, you, what did you attract to become a project manager in construction? Uh, it's, it's a good question, actually. Um, I mean, I think I think what with with construction in 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 in, in specific, um, it's interesting to see things develop um, and to see how a lot of different um, specialities and people come together and, and try to to realize or try to to construct um, a building. Um, I mean, what motivates me as a project manager um, was obviously a project success. Um, uh, and the question is, how do you define project success? A lot, a lot of times project success is defined by uh, of financial terms or, or by, by quality or by the output. Um, but, but for me also what is interesting and, and, and what is actually makes project management fun um, to work in is, is to see how project teams form and, and how they develop. Um, also with a lot of challenges um, arising, obviously when, when, when people come together and, and people work together, um, not everything runs as smoothly as you would like to hope to. But, but at the end, I think um, successful teams um, then formulate successful projects. Um, and I think that's something that, that's, that's for me, it's, it's motivating and, and it's fun to, to see. Yeah, you are very much uh, elaborating actually the leadership uh, role of a project manager, yeah? uh, being part of the team and working in this team. Yeah, so much going beyond all these nice project management methods. How do you see that? Um, I, I, I think I didn't 
quite understand your last question because my, my mic was, was so on my own. Yeah, no, I, I was just commenting that you are actually telling us about the leadership yeah. role of the project manager. And uh, normally people have the idea that uh, project management uh, is uh, project management methods. And mm -hmm. this is where it stops. So what's your opinion <laughs> on that? Um, uh, a very good question, actually, and a very nice topic to, to talk about because um, that is something that, that the MBA opened my mindset to because first, um, obviously, you, you come from your education, um, maybe from, from your studies, a, a technical background, and you've got this um, set frame of how projects should work with the PM methods, um, a weight breakdown structure and all those things. But um, what is also very, um, very important part of project management um, is this so-called maybe soft skills, but also this this soft way of of of, of engaging with with people and with uh, within the team, um, not just within the team, but also with all um, all stakeholders of the project as such. Um, and and for me, the project management MBA opened this this mindset to see okay, it's not just about um, in a construction business, obviously finishing the project um, on time. Um, and in the budget, but it's also uh, about engaging with, with all stakeholders, engaging with the people around, um, which is something that is, is becoming more and more important um, also in the construction industry, the whole environment issue, the whole so social responsibilities. Um, so there's, there's more and more aspects that come to mind um, than just project management methods. Um, yeah. So just remaining with you for one last question now for this round is what, what were the highlights uh, uh, in the professional MBA project management? Were there any highlights you would like to, to share with us? Um, yes, yes, very, very, very much so. For, for me, the highlight was, was the open engagement or the open exchange um, within the, the peers or within the group um, of peers, uh, but also with you, Martina, and the other lecturers, um, because um, it, it's not just such that you you sit in a classroom and then and then listen to to the lecture, but it's it's more like an an, an engagement, a discussion. Um, everybody brings in new ideas, um, and and that was quite interesting because we we had this um, this um, project which we went through uh, in the professional um, MBA and this kind of test project or pilot project, which we, we talked through and, and um, tried out different um, PM methods. Um, but what was interesting was to see people from um, many different industries um, and, and uh, educational backgrounds, um, how they reflect and what their perspectives are to different problems. Um, so I think that was, that was quite, um, opening up my mind because as, as a, an engineer, you've got this set um, of thinking and then it helps, for example, if somebody from marketing or from sales comes in and says, look, maybe we could consider that or we could look at that. Mm -hmm. So I think that was very interesting to, to have a, a very diverse um, group of, of um, project managers as such or, or people working on one project. Um, and and um, I mean, uh, and the education as such, um, the topics, which is another highlight for me, was was very um, innovative in a sense, or at least um, very up to date. So um, we looked at different project management styles, project management methods um, from different industries as well. Um, so that was quite quite good for me too. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Daniel, for sharing. I mean, faith you. You are coming from a very uh, distinct background, yeah, in in science, yeah, and there have been uh, construction people, IT people in your class. Uh, so how was that? Yeah, and what what project, what training project have you been involved? Can you share that? Um, it was a really open experience. I came in with a clean slate. I hadn't really had any business experience before the MBA. And so it was just learning, uh, collaborating, learning um, the skills of other individuals and just uh, the way that our teams were constructed. We had a lot of different backgrounds and it was really, really interesting to see 
you know, like Daniel was saying, this team development and seeing our team go through the process of getting our project manual together. And I really, really enjoyed that. The vernissage where we made a video was one of the highlights. And I, I thoroughly enjoyed working with everybody and getting to know everyone. Mm -hmm. so, so what was the, the training project uh, you, you participated in? Uh, yes, so we were trying to um, get a, a personal, sort of like a personal travel assistant um, based off of our colleague, uh, Xenia. And we pretty much, she wanted to sort of be a concierge service. It was called private concierge service. And we got to basically build this business from an idea, you know, fl fully fleshing it out with a project plan, um, cost, uh, uh, business case. It was uh, risk management. I really, I really, really enjoyed that because it was like building from the ground up and it was, it was pretty fantastic. So I, I had a great time. We had a lot of great discussions. They were long, but I learned so much working with everyone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, Svetlana, you were already mentioning that uh, the MBA uh, made a change in your career. Can you elaborate on this a little bit? Yeah, 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 sure. Um, yeah, MBA project management uh, had a really significant and direct influence <laughs> on my career progression. Uh, so after working for four years as a facade designer and then four years as an engineer at construction site, I just didn't see my future there as a, a construction site manager. And my goal was to have influence on an organizational level and changing and optimizing the processes in the project management, developing new successful processes, working on company, company strategic decisions. And I get uh, I got the exact job year before finishing uh, the MBA program. Uh, so yeah, because uh, it gives you just the uh, innovative knowledge you need. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and at the moment, I'm very happy with the position and company. Yeah. Yeah, that is good to hear. So the <laughs> they really made a difference uh, in your career. This is what you're sharing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Daniel, did the MBA do something for you career-wise? Um, yes, actually it did. Um, I, I, I started a new job um, three, four months ago um, in Vienna. Um, I mean, for, for me, the most it did was it, it, it gave me confidence um, to, to achieve um, and, and to aspire um, higher goals, I would say, um, because it, it, in one sense, it, it gives you the, the, the um, competences um but on the other hand it, it, it opened your opens your mind to see okay um what is actually possible and for me now first i was just just um working as a project manager for a contractor side so um a classical um building company um that that builds um buildings um and and now i've 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 moved into a more specialized area maybe in the sense in, in, in timber construction. Um, but this was opened up a little bit by, by my master thesis, um, which I which I read for uh, for my MBA, um, because I um, I was digging into um, relational based project approaches. Um, in construction, um, a lot is transactional based um, and collaborative aspects are not valued as high as they should be. Um, and here, from, for me at least, um, timber construction where I'm working in now, um, they've got this more collaborative, more based on, on, on the relationship um, based uh, approach. Um, so, I mean, the verdict is still out there for, for me at least, um, but, but at now, um, uh, maybe a half a year after I've, 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 uh, we've successfully finished the MBA, um, it's it's been been the right choice, um, and and we'll see we'll see where that leads to, um, but but yeah, it was it was a good um, good opportunity to 
to, to do the MBA. Yeah, um, I remember your master's is uh, taking really into project, uh, integrated project organizations uh, that are quite seldom uh, in your uh, industry context, uh, but they are inevitable. Yeah, so that will be the future uh, in construction, uh, I would also think. Um, Faith, what was your master's thesis? Uh, what, what did you engage with? Um, based on one of your lectures, I actually got into um, sustainability and sustainable development. So I looked at the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals within the context of different projects at uh, some nonprofit, three nonprofit and for-profit organizations that were involved in sustainable development projects. And it was, it was a really interesting dive into, you know, there was uh, one of my colleagues, one of my husband's colleagues who has uh, created a cement additive that, uh, that fills in cracks, that's a self-healing cement. And it was just a really deep dive into how you can use projects to implement um, sustainability. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and Svetlana, you were mentioning your master's thesis very briefly already. So uh, what, what did you do? Yeah, my master's thesis was on a project risk management topic. So um, I have uh, started my new uh, job, yeah. Um, really at exact <laughs> right moment because I was thinking, oh my God, what, what for master topic should I take here? And actually, as I have been started the job, I talked to my boss and asked what will be interesting for us here. Uh, do you have a very important project uh, for me in the future? And it was the project risk management. Yeah, it's really very, very necessary for every, especially big company, <laughs> to have this process um, stabilized and uh, set it up, yeah. So. <laughs> so this is what you have developed uh, within your master thesis and has uh, the company introduced it? Uh, yes, exactly. Uh, end of the last year we have started. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah so, so you you actually uh, also see how practical oriented uh, we are also with the master thesis. Uh, I think this is also a specific uh, feature of uh, the MBA that we're not yeah. only working with the training project, but also uh, encouraging uh, our MBA students to yeah to make a you said faith uh, a big dive uh, into a topic of their interest. Uh, and uh, being uh, as practical to, to go that far and also develop something for a company uh, based on, of course, always theory and based on interviews. This is of, often how we are working in the master thesis, uh, but something that is also useful in, uh, in practice. Yeah, um, the topic uh, of us here is also to, to talk a little bit about the challenges uh, of careers and the pitfalls uh, and the tips. Uh, so um, are there any, any pitfalls you would like to, to share? Is there any tips you can give our audience uh, when they would like to uh, go into a project management career or pursue their project management career? Um, Svetlana, anything you would like to, to share with the audience here? Yeah, yeah, sure. Um, for me, project management was always something very interesting, but challenging <laughs> at the same time as well. So uh, you have to like the structure and be well organized as a project management. This is from my point of view, from my experience. Do um, you have to have great uh, communicational skills? Uh, so to be a good project manager, it's important to have also the best tools and techniques to make all the processes official, so official as possible. And uh, you have to stay, of course, all the time up to date on developments, both within your industry and also uh, within project management as uh, this 
discipline yeah and i would say also a, a constant personal professional development and the passion uh about the things you do uh this is for me like key uh, of successful career in project management yeah yeah i think uh, especially the passion and uh, definitely the three of you they have the passion for for going for it uh, based uh, any tips you would like to share uh you mean as far as like for a successful career <laughs> okay i would say go for it if you're interested talk to other project managers and go for it uh, i was i was reading an article in harvard business review the december 2021 issue called the project economy has arrived and the project management Insti institute estimated that in this was in 2017 that uh, project oriented economic activity was about 12 trillion and it would grow to about 20 trillion in 2027 so projects are increasingly becoming the core of of how organizations implement strategic change and so we need lots of people at the table and I would say we need, when it comes to like sustainability, empowerment, uh, engaging with different stakeholder groups, uh, and basically help lead organizations into a future filled with unpredictability and, and lots of changes. I would say go for it, and you'll always be able to use project management and your personal and professional growth and development. So that would be my tip. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Faith. Daniel, would you want to share? Um, yeah, I've got a few ideas uh, I would like to share. Um, may, maybe start with a pitfall. Um, with a pitfall, as a project manager, it's very easy to, to get stuck in details um, and, and to lose the big picture. So, so one advice would be to um, formulate what are the project objectives, um, to make a good description of that and, and always keep that in, in the back of your mind um, especially when you really dig into the project that you don't lose yourself in details and, and working out things. I mean, details are important, but at the end of the day, the, the project itself has got to lead um, to, to bringing uh, added value to the customer or to, to whoever is a project owner. Um, another advice for me would be um, Within project management, there's a lot of talk about this project management certificates, um, PMI, IPMA, and things like that. Um, and, and I think, and I regard them as, as important because they, they give you the basics and they give you a project management methods. But at the, at the end of the day, for me, one of my, um, um, one of my, my uh, arguments would be, or one of my advice would be, um, follow principles more than methods. Um, um, I notice that now, I mean, what, what do I mean by that is um, if, if your principle is to have um, an open communication, I think that is much more important than to implement um, a scrum method in that sense. Um, so for example, within construction, um, a lot of a lot of project management methods are, are based on traditions. Um, so PMI is quite big in, in construction, and 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 I think they they they've um, they've they've done a lot of good. Um, but society is changing, um, and and how people work with each other, how people work within teams is changing. So I think it's also important to to keep that in mind to think, okay, uh, how can I use different aspects, maybe different project management methods, maybe agile methods um, in your context as such. Um, I think that's that's quite important. So from, for me, principles in the sense of, okay, I want to have a good working team is more important than um, to have a certain project management style, um, which comes in the end anyway. Um, and the last advice um, for, for all of you who are listening, um, do the professional MBA um, project management um, at the VU. Um, so, because it was, it was an eye opener for me. Um, and yeah, <laughs> that would be, be a few of my advices. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you uh, very much uh, to uh, my guests. Uh, 
I'm very happy that we could discuss with you. And I would also like to uh, open up now uh, for questions uh, to the audience. Uh, that means that we need to, them to also use their, their microphones uh, and uh, stop now the recording. So sh thank you for sharing uh, the passion for project management with us. Thank you for being here with us. Uh, we wish you a, a nice remain of the day. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you guys for joining us. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye. Feel free to reach out on LinkedIn. <laughs>